Hey folks, so I got another quickie for you today. Um, I have done a video on this before, but this is a new and improved version of that uh, battery retainer flex. Uh, this was designed by one of my buddies, HDR, uh, but the difference with this one in particular is that it should have that um, battery contact issue resolved. And this one in particular comes pre-assembled and I believe Retro Game Repair Shop will be stocking them. Uh, I don't know what the uh, pricing or anything on that is going to be. But the idea is you can take one of these and replace the tabbed battery contact in your uh, regular Game Boy cart. Uh, if you're building a flash cart or something, of course, and you're uh, using one of the FRAM boards, like it's the full PCB and everything, these already have retainers so you don't need to worry about using tab batteries for that. Uh, but if you're building a flash cart out of like an OEM cartridge, like uh, J. Rodrigo or the Ben Ben old style adapters, something like this, you take a Pokemon cart and you replace it with a flash chip. This can be somewhat handy for these carts. This in particular, the tab spacing is designed for the CR2025 carts. Um, and in this particular case, that is an old Pokemon game. Um, this game does not use FRAM, which means as soon as this battery is gone, so too is this save. In this particular case, my save is backed up, so I'm not worried about losing this, but if you want to uh, take care of your save, make sure you back it up before you do something like this. But, there we go, we have a save. Still intact, but we'll wipe that in just a sec. Whenever dealing with soldering, on one of these carts, always take it out of the case. It's such a simple step, and I see so many people skip that step. It's so easy to accidentally, uh, like, tweak the side of your soldering iron into the side of the case, and then you ruin the case. It, it you take it out. It's, <laughs> it takes two seconds. But anyway, let us take a look at the existing battery, I don't recall how new this is, but it is still showing over 3 volts when I check it with the multimeter, which means it's still probably got another couple years in it. Uh, but this one in particular is a somewhat cheap battery. I believe this is just one of them AliExpress or uh, eBay specials. Nothing particularly valuable. And unfortunately, in the games with real-time clock, which is Pokemon, um, batteries just don't last as long. In every other game, like the first-gen Pokemon or just literally anything that doesn't use a real-time clock, these don't make the most sense um, because the battery is already going to last like 10, 15, 20 years, depending on how much you spend, if you get a good quality battery, it's, it's going to last a long time. The real-time clock games are a little bit different because you have the battery powering the save chip and the real-time clock, and so unfortunately you'll only get like hmm, five, six years, give or take. It's not that long, but I don't know. I don't think it's too big a deal to install a new tab battery, but I suppose this is pretty convenient. Uh, so to install this, it is directional. Technically you can install it, oh no, you can't install it either way, because then it would be reverse polarity, duh. Um, you can line up the little plus on near the solder joint. It's hard to see because my lighting is not the best at the moment. Bring that in. There you go. There's a little plus right by the solder joint that goes to the plus on the board.
I just want to get it nice and centered. What for the clear case and all. There you go. Easy peasy. Now we can come in here and clean up some of that extra flux just because I was particularly messy. Or at the very least, when I originally replaced this battery, I never cleaned it up. Not strictly necessary, but again, clear case. Might as well make it pretty. And unfortunately, I wasn't being as careful as I should have been, and I got a little bit of solder on the uh, text there. And yeah, that's there for good. <laughs> but there we go. I'm going to go ahead and stick in a brand new CR2032. Just slides right in like that. Makes me a little nervous how that flexes so much. I think CR 2025s might be a better way to go. But it does close just fine. A little bit of a bulge. Is that? It's 2025. Let's try that. Actually, let's try that, because that's already fallen out of the packaging. This is a Maxell 2025. That does just about the same thing. but it's also not bulging the casing up a little bit. Uh, let me try. Oh, let's put the save game back on this thing real quick. Right, save data. And then let's try it out. There we go. Of course the clock is reset because that's what happens when you pull the battery out, uh, but we can reset the clock later. I'm not too worried about it because I'm just going to go ahead and reflash this cart back to what ROM I originally had on it, uh, which in this case I believe was crystal clear or prism or something. I don't know. I have a lot of crystal clear carts. <laughs> but there you go. Certainly works. Um, one thing that I think can improve this is if we put a little bit of sticky tape under this. So let us try that out and see if that improves the flex any. I don't think my soldering iron's heated up. No, it's not. Alright. 
So in this particular case, I'm going to use a little bit of leftover adhesive from a screen lens. And I don't have any scissors. I don't remember where I put them. That's inconvenient. Made it work. All right. So what I want to do here, and I don't know if this is actually going to work, but, or at least if this is going to do what I want it to do. So I think we would need adhesive on those parts. That kind of came out weird, but sure, let's go for it. And to be clear, I don't think that that flex that I was seeing is going to be a problem. but it certainly doesn't look great. So let's try this out. We'll make removing this a little bit more difficult, but in theory, this thing is permanent, so that also shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, still a little bit flexy. Not too bad though. <clears throat> There's only so much you can do with an existing PCB design when you're trying to adapt it for something like this. But either way, they both work. Should be good. Let us reflash this one more time. Just double check. As it was restored. Yep, 
There you go. Ta-da! The only thing is I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, let's do that with uh, Pokemon Crystal. And I lost my screwdriver. I didn't go anywhere. I don't understand how this happens. Don't worry, I found it. Let's pop this open. The Pokemon Crystal battery is at a slightly different angle, and the components are in a slightly different spot. It does work, it'll just be askew, if it's the same, but there you go. And unfortunately, I didn't think to test it before using the adhesive, so we will not find out today. But uh, trust me, it does work. Um, I, I have mixed feelings on this, because again, you can buy actual name brand quality batteries, not these, but like these, um, you can get these sockets and then just go to any battery store that you have locally and they will have quality either probably Maxell, which is by the way one of the OEMs Nintendo used, um, or Energizer, which I have mixed feelings on Energizer, but they do work. Uh, no, sorry, Energizer is the one I like. It's Duracell that I don't like. Um, for reasons I don't think I should get into right now. But either way, you know, it's convenient. You can just replace the battery. But at the same time, you know, how often are you replacing batteries that you need the convenience of easily replaceable? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's really not that expensive. When you consider the cost of shipping high quality tabbed batteries, uh, which you can order on DigiKey, and I'll throw a link down in the description to those if you want. Also have a link to these. Um, once you factor in shipping, it might almost be cheaper to just grab a few of these going forward, depending on how many of these you need to do, and then buy batteries locally. Uh, it. I, I don't know. You'll you'll have to do the math on that yourself and figure it out. Um, but functionally speaking, my point is, this doesn't offer any benefit other than when the time comes to replace the battery, uh, like once or twice a decade, um, it is easier. But hey, you know it works. It's pretty good. Um, I just. I'm not going to convert over all my cards. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyway, I think that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will throw some useful links in the description. And otherwise, have a fantastic day.